Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to build my first Mark Train tutorial. So right here is the Mark EMD GP39H-2, and it stands for the Maryland Area Regional Commuter Train Service, which runs around Baltimore, Maryland, and the Washington DC uh, metro area. And uh, yeah, here's what it looks like, my first Mark Train ever. And I am also working on a Bombardier Bi-Level Coach, although these two things, they don't really run together. Uh, this locomotive uses, like I believe, single level coaches, so I will have a separate design for that. And uh, the special thing about this thing is that it has an exhaust pipe sticking out in the back. I felt like that. It's kind of weird, but it's like the first time I've seen something like this in the locomotive. But that's what makes it unique. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Top view, and let's get started. So first off, let's take out a uh, gray concrete. I'm gonna place that two blocks above the tracks and three blocks wide. Then I'm gonna add a plow underneath using uh, nether brick stairs. And I'm gonna make the outer parts cornered. So it's three blocks wide. And then I'm gonna add upside down on the side sticking out and another upside down one on top. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna add a dark oak a slab in the middle with trip wire hooks on either side. Underneath that hook, we're going to add in these dark oak fence gates that are opened up. Now, right behind, we're going to add three blocks wide of blue concrete. Below that, three blocks wide of gray concrete. And then on the sides, we're going to add acacia slabs stacked like this. Then on the bottom, we're going to add in dark oak trap door, close that up sides. In the middle we're going to add three blocks wide of nether brick slabs like so. In the front we're going to add in this uh, smooth quartz slab three blocks wide. Then the sides of that uh, we'll add in nether brick fence two blocks tall and another pair in the front of that both sides. Now we need to add in the ditch lights which are going to be an item frame with a smooth quartz block inside of it, right in the front of that fence. Now to the side, um, we're gonna add in this uh, acacia fence. So let me grab this. Add to the side of the stairs here, and then also skip a block and add another one here. And we're gonna make it, I guess, three blocks tall, like so. Same thing on the other side, add an acacia fence skip a block and then add three blocks tall again right there next we're going to add black concrete six blocks long right behind the slab so one two three four five and six then in the back of that we're going to add three blocks wide another brick slabs like this all right so now we're going to work on the bogey so uh, we're going to go line it up with the first black concrete and add pair of wheels using gray terracotta and the back ones as well. Then next to it, we're gonna add an upside down uh, dark oak stairs like this. So these are gonna be our wheels like so. Then we're gonna add back to back nether brick stairs on top of each wheel. Cross like that, same thing on both sides. While in the middle, there's going to be two nether brick walls, a space in between. Then in between the stairs, we're going to add a nether brick block and a nether brick stairs in the front and the back. So you may have to delete some tracks so you can move around easier. So next in the middle, we're going to add dark oak fence gates and they are going to be facing towards that nether brick block that we just placed. And then we'll add uh, two upside down back to back nether brick stairs in between the other stairs. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll go to add in hoppers to the sides of the wheels. Then four blocks of these dark oak fence gates. The middle two face each other, the outer two face towards the hopper. Same thing on the other side. Hoppers and then the fence gates. All right, so after we're done with that, we're gonna add in another brick slab right above the hopper. 
both sides and um, nether brick wall right after that slab and then two nether brick slabs in the middle same thing on the other side so nether brick slabs and the walls then we're going to go in the back we're going to add in this dark oak fence gate behind the wheels and open it up same thing in the back and I believe these are some kind of wire it's a little bit tricky to place but uh, once you're done with that it should look like this very nice and now we can take out a gray concrete we're gonna make it three blocks wide and let's make it six blocks long so one two three four five six extend the rest out other side same thing and then we're gonna go on the bottom and add three blocks wide in the front three blocks wide in the back the bottom row we're gonna go across using upside down nether brick stairs like so and the front we're gonna add in two nether brick slabs and then upside down nether brick stairs all the way to the edge like that same thing on the other side just copy it nether brick stairs all the way across and then two slabs in the front followed by upside down nether brick stairs all the way to the back row right here then we're going to add in three blocks wide upside down nether brick stairs in the middle here and we'll take out black stained glass panes three blocks wide right after it then we'll add in uh, three blocks wide of nether brick slabs like so followed by a uh, black concrete we're going to make it six blocks long so one two three four five and six all right so after we're done with that pretty much what we're going to do copy this whole entire section right where the slab is and then make it over here so this black concrete is the same black concrete as this side all right so once we copied it to the other side it should look like this i'm going to add another brick slab to the side of the stairs both sides another uh, brick wall to the side of this slab for the bell and go to the front and add an iron trap door in between these fences same thing in the back then we'll go um, back to the front and we'll add in another brick stairs upside down right here right to the side of that slab and then to the other side we're going to add in another dark oak trap door and close that up both sides like that Next, we're going to go to the back, make a V-shape using clay. Then we'll add a nether brick slab right here with an acacia trap door in the front of that. Same thing on the other side. Then on the top of this, we'll add a V-shape using orange concrete and then a V-shape using blue concrete. Then a V-shape of clay two blocks tall like that all right now to the back of this uh, let's add in a blue glass pane here orange glass pane right underneath and to the side here on I'm going to add three blocks tall acacia fence gates open them all up then we'll add a birch fence gate right there in the middle for the lamp open it up and on either side is going to be a dark oak sign for the number plates and on this side there will be a dark oak trapdoor which will be closed up for the vent then we're going to go to the front add a dark prism rain slab here and then six clay blocks one two three four five six other side same thing dark prism marine and then clay blocks six blocks long Following that, there will be this smooth quartz slab all the way across to the other side on this side, while the other side is going to be slightly different. So on this side, there's going to be clay uh, right above, uh, right before that bogey, so right here after that slab, and we're going to add this clay all the way back to the front. And then we're going to add smooth quartz for the rest all the way to the back all right so back to this part we're going to add in um, smooth 
stone slab here and three orange concretes down top of that three blue concretes then there's gonna be two smooth stone slabs other sides pretty much the same thing so just copy that except that last slab so it should look like this on both sides now in the middle area we're going to add in two clay blocks then blue concrete and we'll add light gray glass pane to the side of this clay then orange on the bottom blue on top and then clay on top of that at the bottom there's going to be two blocks long of orange and then two blocks long of blue now we're going to add three blocks wide of clay here then on top we're going to add three blocks wide of black glass add another one to the side in the middle clay in the corners of the cab on the roof there's going to be three blocks wide of clay and another one sticking out then we're going to add in clay so it goes one block past the end of the cab then the sides of the cab will be stone stairs right there in the corners then the front area there's going to be gray concrete filled in this part and then gray carpet uh, two blocks long on the sides while in the middle we're going to make a v-shape using light gray carpet then there's going to be a stone button right here in the middle and acacia buttons in the front corners of the hood now we're going to add uh, the number plates which are a dark oak uh, sign right here at the sides in the middle we'll have a dark oak fence gate for the horn Behind that, there was going to be two smooth stone slabs like so. Now on this side, we're going to add three um, by two of bedrock like that. Then to the back, we're going to add bedrock six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in the middle of clay. And then we're going to connect the two parts, the front and the back of clay, all the way across. like that. Then we're going to add upside down stone stairs here to skip a block and then two upside down nether brick stairs, two stone stairs and a stone, well a smooth stone slab. The other side is going to be the same thing like that. Then in between the middle area between these nether brick we're going to add daylight detectors make them blue and behind that it's going to be a zombie head then we're going to skip a block, add two daylight detectors, skip a block, two, skip a block and add one, make them all blue. And underneath the zombie head, we're going to add a blue concrete block. Like that. Then we're going to go in the front in between where the bed rocks are and add a spruce trap door, two blocks long, and then dark oak trap door like so. Now we're going to go down, line it up with the nether brick stairs and add a lapis lazuli like that. Same thing on the other side. And we're going to add another block in the front of that. Now the rest of this layer is just going to be clay across like so. And then we're going to add a layer of blue concrete. Then a layer of orange across the entire thing and then a layer of clay underneath this orange. So that we have like this nice pattern and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So after we're done with that, we're gonna fill in the roof with uh, blue carpet all the areas. Once we filled in the roof, go back to the front and go right to the side and replace this with an acacia uh, stairs. Inside this hole, we're going to fill in that with clay. Right above, we're going to add a dark oak button. And we'll add a stone button in the front of the cab for a lamp. Alright, so then we're going to add in this little vent. So there's going to be two blocks wide of light gray. 
glass and then two blues and then two orange at the bottom then the side here we're going to add um, dark oak bun and then stone buns on either side go do the same thing on this side like that then we're going to make the banner which looks like this so take out a black banner then we'll add a light gray dye border around it put that back in and we're going to go across the bottom two thirds of it put it back in and add a blue dye across uh, the bottom third of it so it should look like this and we'll just place that in the front and the back of the cab where the door should be then in the middle we'll add a light gray uh, glass pane as a window divider and I forgot to do this but uh, we're going to add in black concrete so we can make the window blacked out like so a lot more contrasty and let's add in this acacia fence and dark oak fence so it's going to be two blocks tall another brick fence here and then acacia fence on top and then acacia fence gate right behind it other side same thing so two uh, another brick fences acacia fence and then acacia fence gate then back over here acacia fence right here and then dangling down two blocks tall another brick fence other side same thing Acacia fence, dangling down, another brick fence, two blocks tall. Go to the back also and add another brick fence, two blocks tall. Other side, same thing. Like that. So next we're going to add a birch button in the back. Dark oak button next to it. Skip a block and add three. Skip a block, add two. Then we'll go uh, right to the bottom area and just do the same thing with the dark oak buns so they're kind of like the same thing now we're going to skip block out of one here skip block at two and top row we're going to add acacia bun and then dark oak bun so this is basically the button pattern now we're going to do the same thing on the other side so start off with the birch dark oak bun skip a block three skip a block two then we're going to add the bottom row dark oak buns same thing Skip one, add one, and then skip one, add two, add one here, and then another dark oak button here, and then skip block, add acacia bun. So I guess this part is a tad bit different because that thing's in the way. All right, so after we're done with that, we're going to add in the railings. So the railings are pretty simple. We're going to skip a block. Every other block would add to these two block tall uh, nether brick fences like this. Same thing on the other side. Then the spaces in between, we're going to add acacia fence gates. So it should look like this. I'm going to go to the back and make this plow into just a flat uh, pilot. So replace that with gray concrete. So it's nice and flat in the back. Then we're going to go to the side and make this vent thing. So let's add a cobblestone wall here and then three blocks tall or three blocks long of this iron trap door and then two down on the bottom so it's a little thicker. So yeah that is pretty much it on how to build the Mark GP39H-2. Hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.